gym, you can't carry shit. Well, is it gonna fit? Whoops. Welcome back to episode five of our island gym build. Today we are doing the floor framing. If you missed last week's episode, we did all of the cottage pads. So those have set over the past week and now we're ready to build them up. It's 9.51 and we are just getting started. What's up first? Cut the post. First piece, let's go. And this is why we changed the short side to the front. It was gonna be 10 feet at the front. Now we switched it to seven. It's gonna be a two by 12 and sub four on top of this before the wall even starts. So it's gonna be tall. Perfect. I kind of like that though, because I have this vision of like attaching a shrimp arm, I think that's what it's called, and then dropping the ropes and the rings outside of the building. So then I'll have tons of room to like swing and everything. We got a gym build going on here and a chicken coop build going on over there. <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> Well, I got him in concert tickets for our anniversary and he got me this to help him build the gym that I'm never going to use. Don't even know how to use this. What is this? Chalk line, measuring tape, pencil with sharpener, knife, and that. Chalk. Happy anniversary! Woohoo. Does it work? Not really. Whoa, what are you doing with that? We're an hour in and Evan has already killed three batteries. I'm going to plug him the next two. We're checking in. It's 10.52 right now. We have three posts that are up right now. One, two, three. Evan is going to nail them into their spots now. So far, so good. It stopped raining a little bit, so we're doing a little bit better in terms of weather conditions. So far, things are going well, I think. How's it going so far? Let's start nailing. It's going good. <laughs> Start walking. Hey, it's like a big game of tug of war. Whoops. I don't need another person. Do you need another person? Put it in. Oh yeah, baby. Ow. Ha, heavy. <laughs> Can I come down? Well, hold on. Pick it up and screw it to me. Oh. Well, is it gonna fit? I know. I don't think you're gonna like your face very much in that. Okay, girls, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it. Don't let me get injured. I can't do it by myself. I can't can you help me, babe? For somebody who goes to the gym, you can't carry shit. Can you not swim? Whoa, now, don't oh, push it over. There, <laughs> you wanted to push. Not in your pull. <laughs> If she was any leveler, she'd be crooked. <laughs> this will be a fun trip to the hospital. Ah, concrete, be careful. Babe, hey, you're like eight inches from... Is it going in that thing? Yeah. In. Or I'll
While Evan works on taking off all the forums, I'm gonna head on down and make us some lunch. Today we are making some steak from our latest Good Food box. If you've never tried Good Food before and you are from Canada, I have a link in the description box down below that'll get you your first box for free. This meal is also only going to take us 20 minutes to prepare, which is perfect because I'm gonna be able to make it, serve it, and get back up there. So we need to roast the carrots, throw some steaks on, make a salad, make a sauce. Perfect, well, let's make some lunch. I like to absolutely fry my steak. I am like an extremely well done type of girl. Evans is medium rare, so we're gonna go bring this up the hill now, enjoy some lunch, and get right back to it. Need some forks. Okay, let's get back to work. This actually looks so good. Okay, here it is. Here's just the top one. You're kidding. No. It's a fancy lunch. Nice work, pal. Also. No, you need to get off the couch. Come on, no, Walter. No, go, Meg, call Wilson. Go see Meg. Oh, we'll go. Babe, I need you to anticipate. You see me putting up a brace? I need a level. And I need you to move with a sense of urgency. No, walk it over. You don't throw levels. Hurry, this fast. Place is a prison. Faster. Let off a touch. No. Let off, let off, let off. Let off. Come here. Come here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nail it. Don't you tell me when to nail it, bub. Somebody to nail this. Set up the tripod. I need <laughs> one pusher, one nailer. Nail her where she sits. Don't touch anything. What am I nailing? Why does she Look have to wood? Nail? Don't, don't nail into the middle. Just nail it. Where? The brace? The brace. But it's on the Three metal! Nails. Don't hit the metal! Here! Fuck, nail it! <laughs> Three! She hit the metal! Alright, put the thing down. No, you didn't. Step away from the gun. You did, you did too! No. Something Hi, left. Wilson, get off the hose! <laughs> Where did you go, Walter? Whoa! <laughs> that was a big jump! Were you checking the perimeter? Maybe one of these days we'll have a camera crew film one of these projects. That'd be so nice, eh? If we had a camera crew. So unnecessary. Move! <laughs> Let's get another dog. Get some chickens. We'll Speaking of chickens, food. I'll take you over to see the chicken coop build. We are getting chickens on July 3rd. So a couple more days, less than a week away anyways. So while we're over there working on the gym build, Julian and my mom are over here working on the chicken coop. Ain't that right. I'm gonna say this is like day four of them building this. Isn't it cute though? And one of the cutest details is that this is one of the original windows from the main cottage. Oh, you see it? Yeah. That's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna put it up here. Okay, 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 I'm gonna put it up You're doing the Lord's work. Look at that, halfway down the floor. We have also seriously lucked out on weather. It was supposed to rain all day with the chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. And it's like one o'clock, the skies are clear. There's no sun, which I guess is kind of a blessing in disguise, but it's still pretty hot out here. And uh, big improvement from last week. <laughs> if you didn't catch that episode, we laid all these cottage pads in the pouring rain. It was a little bit of a disaster, but we got it done. And I'm much happier with today's working conditions. 
back. Yeah, this stuff only lasts so long. We got one extra here, we're good. He insisted on doing the last one. Looks like a little tree fort. That looks like a dangerous game. Your mother is gonna have a cow when she sees this. Look at how high off the ground he is. No harness, Evan. Oh my, you're lucky. So if the door goes like here, here maybe, because there'll be a treadmill there. You might want to get the size of the treadmill, and then we'll go from there. And then this will be like a little dry bar over here. I have this vision of like displaying all the supplements and things and then also having a mini fridge here. Like I really like having my protein shakes with milk. So having milk up here with protein powder and then we'll just be able to make our drinks up here. That's the plan anyways. So like this will be the little dry bar with a little fridge, like open shelving for all the supplements. And then where you're standing is like dumbbell rack, squat rack on that side. And then all of that is like open for CrossFit activities. I got sap on my hands, Greg. Evan was just saying how pressure treated wood is very inconsistent for height. Right here. It's actually a pretty significant difference. Big corner. We needed pressure treated though, didn't we? Yeah. Oh well. We are flying though. It's just before two o'clock now. And look at all the progress that we've made. None of this was here this morning. None of it. It's looking good. What now? We need to square it. He says it's time to square it. What does that mean? It okay. makes me really nervous when you get up there like that. So if you can hook me on the outside corner here, Roger. I'm gonna get the diagonal. Whoops. 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 Maybe I'll put my drink down. Evan, there is a six foot drop on the other side of that, by the way. You hooked? 306 half. 306 half. What's that mean? Do I go to the other side now? Yep. We are learning on the job. Hooked. 308. Uh oh. It's also Canada Day here today, so they are now off for a little boat parade. Evan and I were able to escape it because we used the gym build as an excuse, but every year for Canada Day up on our lake, we do this big parade and everyone dresses up the boat. Last year we dressed the boat up as a loon. It was actually quite popular. Another family also did a loon and I quite liked it. Um, I made this little like reel of it last year, but uh, this year the weather just isn't the greatest and I could not be bothered to go like parade around the lake for two hours and we could be making progress on this. So Evan and I are gonna try and get some more work done on this. I bet you my bracket is pretty damn perfect. Where do I push? Oh, brother. Right? Oh, mommy. One. Is it supposed to move? Let's remeasure it. Maybe I had the measuring tape in the wrong spot and it is perfect. Are you pushing? No. 
Okay, so what happens if it doesn't move? Oh, she's gonna move. He said she's gonna move. Yeah, I've got the plan. Okay. What are you doing? He has got <coughs> some contraption on the go. <laughs> I'm sorry I shouldn't laugh, but that was really funny. I got some. The boys are going to have a good laugh at that. Yeah, they are. So Evan does this full time. I don't know if I told you guys that yet or not. And the boys that he works with have been watching our little episodes here and giving him a good run for his money. To Evan's oh, crew that is watching this, he is doing a great job. And we are so grateful that you have lent us him for the weekend to oh, get this shit. done. Too far? Too far now, uh -uh. You're doing great. Tell me when I'm on the outside of that bracket. You're like flush with it now. Hi, Willis. Where do I put it? The fact that you're asking me this, I don't know if we've moved it <laughs> That's why I said I think we should remeasure it. 30758 was that number. Yeah, wait, I'm not there yet. Okay, hooked. So we're only five eighths off. That's good, right? No. Does Mark let you do this? Mark would be mad if I didn't do this. What? So that means I have to go. Back the other way. We're off by five eighths. Let's say we were just, just oh my goodness. Let's say we just left it where it is. What would happen? Anything? It's just not square. It's no good. So this is something that actually needs to be rectified. You're not just being a perfectionist. It's not a well built place, yeah. Check number three. Three oh seven. And the other side. Ow. Okay. Three oh seven. That's good, right? Oh my. Yeah. One more round of adjustments, hopefully. What's next? Sheet it. That's the parade. Nice work. That's only like a hundred pounds. Walter, was that not loud? Oh, now he gets it. Instead, it's going to be a front 
treadmill. She said earlier when I wasn't filming that if I don't want to be a workout girl anymore, that this could be a bunkie. It would have a great view, but honestly, I've been getting a little bit nauseous because we're so high up but I love it. There is this one tree. I'm gonna ask if we can take it down. I don't, I think it's a maple. Is that a maple? It's obviously a maple. Look at the leaves, the maple leaves on it. See what I mean? There's one maple tree right in the middle of it. That is a wrap for today. The lines are drawn, all the flooring is in, and tomorrow we're gonna start first thing with framing this place out. I unfortunately will not be here because, well, maybe not unfortunately. Fortunately, one of my girlfriends is getting married from university, so I'm heading to that wedding tomorrow. It's about a five hour drive. I'm gonna go to the wedding and then drive back that night. So I'll be here on Monday when we continue on with all the work. Let me show you where we're leaving it at the end of, I guess this would technically be day eight but let me show you. All the flooring is in. This is a 20 by 16 footprint here. So ideally what's gonna happen is the door will be here coming in and then we'll have treadmill, bike, rower. Across the front, it'll be window, sliding door, window. This space here is all going to be open. There'll be some like hanging bars and a little rope that will hang here. Along this wall is where the folding squat rack is going to be. So when we're lifting, we'll just be able to back out and then have all of like this play space for CrossFit activities. And then along the back is where all the dumbbells will be. This will all be mirrors too back here. So you'll have like the view in the reflection. And over here is where the dry bar is going to be. So remember the entryway will be like somewhere here. And then we'll have the mini fridge, counters, open shelving so that I can display all the supplements. And so I'm going to purchase one of these rogue boxes as well. And so for storage, since it's not going to get daily use, we'll put it under the counter. So when we build that dry bar in, we'll make the dry bar so that we can also slide that box under there for storage so that is what it's going to look like well that is officially it for day eight of our cottage gym build tomorrow we will start putting up the walls and then hopefully the roof I mean, fingers crossed we get that far, but thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, if you have any feedback, recommendations, or advice, we are so happy to hear it in the comments down below. Thanks so much for being here, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye. <laughs>